I dare you to find out who you are in a deeper way. But first, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to touch that bell so that you can be notified when new videos are available. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Today I want you to think about this. Do you know who you are? This is what God said to Jeremiah in chapter one, verse five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. God knew who Jeremiah was before he was born. Do you know who you are? And when I ask you this question, I'm not asking based on the roles that you define yourself by in your daily lives, like being a mother, a father, a brother, sister, husband, wife, or friend, or not even by your professional titles. We oftentimes define our worth based on how we measure up to these roles or how we compare with other people that are in the same capacity. But what would we see if we remove those roles? If we remove being a parent, a sibling, a spouse, or a friend, who would be left standing? Did Jeremiah knew that he was a prophet before God called him? No, he did not. So this is what Jeremiah said to God when he called him. Then said I, ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, say not, I am a child for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Jeremiah saw himself as a child. So did Israel. So God calling Jeremiah to be a prophet, if he was not able to connect with who God saw him or who God called him to be, then Israel would not have accepted him as a prophet. They would have seen him as a child. Knowing who you are, um, it, it, it's very important because it, it defines your worth and your value. You will see your worth and your value and the people around you will also see your worth and your value. But if you do not know what that is, if you do not know what you're worth, if you do not know how much you are valued, then nobody else will. Listen, oftentimes finding out who you are, it can come at a cost. It can come with great, you have to be committed in order to do that. You also have to sometimes sacrifice. So let's take a look at Moses. In Exodus, Moses was the prince of Egypt. He went from being the prince of Egypt to being a shepherd in Midian. And in those, in those two roles, on those, on those two spectrum, those roles molded Moses into becoming who God was calling him to be, which was to be, which was to be the deliverer of Egypt. Moses had a face-to-face -face relationship with God. But look at his experience. Sometimes there are going to be obstacles in our way. There are going to be naysayers. There are just going to be people or situations or past hurts or past things or someone that's telling you that you can't do it, you can't make it. There are going to be times in our lives where things are going to hold us back from becoming or finding out who we are. But there are also times when it seems as if there are flaws in our lives that makes us feel as if we are no good, as if we are not worthy. So let's take a look at Moses again. And this is what Moses said to the Lord in Exodus 4. And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, 
I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow to speak and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's tongue? Or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth and teach thee what thou shalt say. Listen, you don't know who you are? God knows who you are. And he doesn't want you to sit back and not step forward and recognize who you are and move in that direction. Remember, he is the potter. We are the clay. And he has us on the potter's, we potter's wheel and he's molding us into what he wants us to be. But there are times in our lives when we're going to fall off that wheel. But I want to encourage you right now to get back on that potter's wheel and allow God to mold you again into who you are supposed to be. God loves you. And he knows who you are. So I challenge you. Get to know who you are. Find out who you are in God. He is, you, no, I'm sorry, you are who God says you are. It is time for you to find out who that person is. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought. <laughs>